Hey Cashers, Derek here, Big Six Clan. Today we're gonna finish up this Codex box by making the lock mechanism. Let's get started. All right, so the first step of making the lock mechanism is that I have to make the slides that are gonna go on the front of here. Now I've already measured the from the bottom to the top, which is nine and three quarters. And when I make the slides to go in there, now I need to remember that I need to make them a little bit longer because I'm gonna be doing this as tongue and groove. So the, the tongue is gonna to have to go into the groove. So I have to measure a little bit longer, about a half an inch longer for it to ma match in there. And that's what the size of the tongue and groove bits that I have will go in there. So each of the boards that's gonna go across here need to be two and one eighth inches to be able to make it flush all the way up. So I'm gonna measure that out and get it started cutting up on the table saw. All right, so now the slides are all cut out um, and now I need to run them through the router to make start making the tongue and groove so they'll start locking into place when I put them back onto the box. All right, so now the tongue and grooves are all cut in each of the pieces. They come together really nice. Now I'm gonna run it through the disc sander real quick and just kind of knock down just a little bit more so it doesn't catch because as you know with wood, it expands a little bit. So I want it to have a little bit more clearance in there so it slides nicely. And then we're gonna start going through and start measuring everything up and start getting ready to route for the pins to go into the other side of the box. Okay, now those are sanded and it slides a lot better. And now what the next step is that I start putting these together. Now the top and the bottom of these is gonna be completely secure. So these are not gonna be moved. But the top one does not need a groove in it for where the pins are gonna go. The rest of the slides, I'm gonna have to come in and route just a little bit underneath here, a groove where the pin will actually fit so we can, these can slide back and forth, but you're not gonna feel where that notch is. And then I'll come in and start putting the notches in, or the groove, down the side, so once you get it to the correct location, the whole bottom of the box will slide out. So I've gotten the top and the bottom nailed into place. Now I've already routed the bottom of the bottom here for the pin that I've now put in here. Now what this is is actually a, a thumb screw with a hex thumb screw on the top of it. And when I have that in place, it'll slide right through that groove and lock right up the top. Now I've already placed it right here to get the placement of the first piece that goes in. And what that does, it just kind of slips right in there for right now. And I've grooved it on the inside so it cannot slide all the way out once all the pieces are in place. So it'll just have this motion sliding back and forth. So what I need to do now is keep this one in here, place the next thumb screw and then work my way all the way down till I get all those where I need them to be on the internal box. Then when I come back, then we're going to make sure that we're going to have the, the measurements for where I'm going to put the grooves underneath so that you can start solving the combination so you can get into that internal box.
All right, so here is the final product of the Codex box. It's gonna fit into the ammo can, and it fits really nicely into the ammo can. So it just goes right into it. Now, the other thing I did, I went ahead and put the plexiglass on the front, and it's got a groove right down the middle of the plexiglass that I routed out so that you know where to line the code up. Now, I've just got dots on there right now to know where I need to do the code to get it to come out. But as you can see, it's nice and locked up right now as these are right in the center. Now, if I go through and adjust the code to where it's supposed to be, the bottom will come straight out nice and easy. Center it back up, center in all the, the code pieces, and it's locked back up. So that is the Codex box that fits into the ammo can. Now, I really like this one uh, because, just because if I don't want, even want to have this out as a geocache, this would be a cool box to make to give to somebody. Now, thank you for joining me today. Have you found one like this? Let me know in the comments. Also, I want you to let you know that I'm gonna be working up and redrawing some of the plans to get make sure all the measurements are right. So if you want some of those plans, send me an email. And that's at Derek at BehindTheCache.com. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. And don't go anywhere, but check out one of these other stories right over here and find the story behind the cache.